Bolam principles state the doctor should be judged by the standard accepted by the responsible body of medical opinion by Supreme Court. <clears throat> a case by Montgomery and versus Lancashire has changed and sparked a debate which has negated Bolam principle. <clears throat> Currently, consent should be a process instead of a single event. Uh, should so there will be reduced opinion and collective opinion of medical experts. It is the best option to take care of the patient in optimal way. Consent is a process of patient ability to understand the information, recall the information, and also agree with the particular procedure or the course of action. Patient should have capacity and understand the pre-op, intra-op, and post-op complications. It is a continuous process, so signing and consent is not enough. It's a continuous process. Regarding patient mental capacity, uh, independent mental capacity score, abbreviated mental capacity score, which is basically questions which should be asked and checked. There are date of birth, age, season, location, count back 20 to 10, queen names, monarch, year. If lack capacity, uh, and treatment is emergency basis, a mental capacity act should be employed for 72 hours. And if ongoing need to be reassessed, level of consents are consent one, which is an adult with a capacity to consent, two, children done by the parents, three is local anesthesia, four is does not have any capacity, dementia, delirium, in scenarios where it should be life saving. Previously the age was 16 years. Now there is a consent concept of gilic competence. The right of child under 16 of age to consent medical examination or treatment if they have sufficient maturity and intelligence. 16 or 17 are presumed to have sufficient capacity to decide their own medical treatment. Medical practice needs to consider gallic capacity in if patients are younger than 16 and wish to receive treatment without their parents or care consent. Gallic capacity child can go against the parents uh, if they can make a judgment and balance the risk and benefits. Still, the refusal of a giving consent for a treatment of a child up to 18 may be overwritten by parents, but parents cannot overwrite the consent of a competent person to treat that you consider is, the, is in the best interest. This was Gillick and West Norfolk 1986. Then, for assessing Gillick competence, there is no defined question to assess Gillick competence. Professionals need to consider several things when assessing a child capacity to consent, include age, me mental capacity, maturity, and understanding the advantages, disadvantages, and long-term effects, understanding the risk implications, understanding the alternative options. Doctor has a duty to act in best interest of the patient. IMCA, Independent Mental Capacity Advocate. In serious medical treatment decision when an adult who lacks the capacity to make a decision has no one who can speak to them, you can other than paid staff, then you can activate IMCA. IMCA are instructed to represent people where there is no one independent of services such as family members or friends who is able to consent for the person. 
an excess body has a duty to involve the IMCA where a vulnerable person who lack mental capacity need to make decision making. Montgomery rule, ruling. Montgomery rule, ruling states that it's the duty to give the patient all the facts and risk and benefits to make an informed consent. Bolam test. If a doctor has acted in accordance to the practice accepted as proper responsible medical opinion, he is not negligent. Bolam ne principle has been negated in 2005. How you assess the capacity? Is there any, number one, is there any impaired or a disturbance in the function of mind and brain, permanent or temporary. Number two, can he able to understand? Number three, able to retain. Number four, able to weigh. Number five, able to communicate. If there is answer no to any of these, patient does not have capacity under MCA 2005.